Hello guys, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's project. How to make our sled, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna leave you in the description below, the measurements to all of those pieces of stir stick. But after you have them cut, we're gonna place the 45 degree angle next to a 22 degree angle and we're gonna add another one of those 22 degree angles and we're gonna add a flat one and another flat one from the bigger ones and another 22 degree angle another 22 and the last 45 degree angle piece then we're gonna grab the shorter flat ones and those would be the stability or the base the base that's the name for that the base for our sled <laughs> and we're gonna add wood glue to them and we're gonna stick them to our stir sticks the ones that we have in the bottom then we're gonna grab our staple gun and we're gonna staple each and every one of them to secure them while we are waiting for that glue to dry and this will give it a lot more stability as you can see here now we're gonna grab our cubes we're gonna add glue wood glue and we're gonna glue those to the base like that after we finish with that I'm gonna come back with the legs and those are the complete stir sticks and with those complete stir sticks what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the handles to the front of our sled and we're gonna glue them by adding wood glue to our cubes and two staples one on, on each then when we have them we're gonna let that dry but first I'm gonna cut this hanger like that and just sand it and add a handle that we have left over from the project from the cutting to our sticks like this and then we're gonna staple and I'm having issues to staple it <laughs> but I stapled it <laughs> now we're gonna take this hanger add some hot glue glue it over there and staple it to the handle that we used now we let it dry really nice and we're gonna come back with antique wax and a sponge brush and we're gonna paint that top with that beautiful antique wax to make this look like a vintage sled we're gonna paint it all over just like this and I'm gonna continue painting until I have covered everything off the top then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna paint the bottom of those stir sticks that we just painted in that color antique wax and we're gonna paint them now as you can see I painted those and I'm gonna come back with crimson to paint the legs and the cubes from the base now that's what I'm doing I'm just painting those legs really nicely with that red beautiful red that it's crimson from Waverly and I'm painting my cubes and I'm painting my legs on the underside of my leg let me show you we need to paint also the underside of that leg if you want to paint this before you can do so but I wouldn't recommend it because glue doesn't stick to paint now I'm gonna take black paint and a dowel and I'm gonna make the look of if it has nails on it and for that as you can see I'm just making dots to the stapled parts of the base to make it look like this is how our sled turned out and look at that it's looking so so cute now we have to decorate it right let's make that today I'm taking part in the Heidi Stumble Friend Friday Hop and link down below in my description box is the link to the next channel in the hop each channel will be linked to the next person in the hop which will take you around the full crafters circle make sure to leave a comment along the way to be entered into the giveaway and this friend friday hop we will have one 75 dollar target gift card one 150 dollar walmart gift card and one 150 dollar amazon gift card it sounds awesome right so leave a comment down below and also on each video 
First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bowl and we're gonna paint it with metallic silver spray paint. This is how they are looking and I painted two of them. Now we're gonna make a hole used in this tool, hot tool used for engraving wood. And now I'm gonna take Elephant from Waverly and with that I'm gonna start stippling that paint into my bowls. What that's gonna make is a galvanized look and if you're new here, welcome! And this is how I make my galvanized look. But if you've been here before, you know where I'm heading. <laughs> so we're gonna stipple that paint all over those bowls to make them look galvanized. We're gonna continue doing that all around our beautiful bowls because they look beautiful on silver, right? <laughs> but I want to make them a little bit galvanized looking. Now I'm gonna take white from Waverly and I'm gonna do the same but I'm just gonna stipple my brush, no, that's a sponge, <laughs> my sponge all around my bowl. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with a little bit more gray to blend them. Just like makeup, I always say that painting is exactly the same thing as makeup. <laughs> so we're gonna stipple more of that paint like that and we're gonna do that to both of our bowls. Then we're gonna come back with burnt umber and with that burnt umber what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it look rusted and I love the look of galvanized rusted metal so we're gonna do the same stipple that on the border bottom part and then we're gonna come back to the top and we're gonna do the exact same thing just stipple some of that paint all around until you're happy with the look so Go blending it like makeup until you get the perfect shade. <laughs> so we're gonna continue doing that and we're gonna repeat the same process to the other bowl that we have. Then, when we finish with both of them, we're gonna grab them and we're gonna start working first until they dry with our picks. And I'm taking those berries and I'm gonna make sugared berries by using Epsom salt and a little bit of glitter so they are not edible. <laughs> then I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna just move that around so it gets really nicely and then I'm gonna come back with some water damp Elmer's glue and I'm gonna brush all of that berry pick and then I'm gonna dunk it into that Elmer's, no, <laughs> that Epsom salt. <laughs> but just be careful not a lot of dumping in there. <laughs> then I'm gonna take those picks and I'm gonna glue them together and I'm gonna take those pine cones and I'm gonna glue them to the top of those picks. You can use any greenery you have. I'm using this one because this is the one that I have left over from last year. Now I'm gonna add this pick in the bottom and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the excess of that pick so we can put our bow. So I'm gonna bring my pliers and cut that excess and now we're gonna add those beautiful sugared berries look at them they look so delicious but they are not edible <laughs> so we're gonna glue them to the picks but first play around with them the issue with floral is that you have to play until where you find the way that you want them that's the trick with this now we're gonna bring back those bells and we're gonna give them the center and for that I'm using twine and a jingle bell. And I'm just putting my jingle bell through the twine, then measuring it and then I'm gonna make a knot over there in the jingle bell so that it looks cute and it stays together. Then I'm gonna cut the excess and pass them through that hole. You can go one at a time, you don't have to push both of them in there. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and make cute knot. And after that we're gonna add a little bit of hot glue to that knot. But first I made it too long so I'm gonna undo it and do it again. <laughs> and I'm just testing it and it sounds like ding 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 ding. <laughs> so after that we're gonna make another knot and we're gonna glue that knot to our bow to make it a lot more sturdy and secure. Then we're gonna cut the excess twine and we're gonna bring a piece of rope to add to those bells. And that's to make them a lot more realistic. 
So we add the first one and then we bring that to our floral arrangement or swag and we're gonna glue that one to the other belt. When they are set and done, we're gonna continue gluing that rope to the pick. As you can see me right here, and then I decided to tie them a little bit more, so I gave them a little bit more rope, and now I'm just gluing them together, and then I'm gonna add the bow. The trick when you're just playing with ribbon is fluffing, so fluff, fluff, fluff after you add your bow. Now I'm gonna tie my bow, and after that it's gonna start the process of fluffing because this is looking like a stat bow. <laughs> So we're gonna fluff really nicely and that will be it. We will have a beautiful bell swag. And this is how our beautiful swag turned out. Those bells make it look so beautiful. Look at that. I love it on the sled. If you like modern farmhouse bow decor and lots of silly jokes and also seasonal decor, subscribe because that's what I do here. And here's my social media. Go and check me out. To make our frame Santa, we're going to remove the backing of our frame and remove the cardboard and the image. You can use the image to trace out your cutout, but for video image or video purposes, <laughs> I'm going to trace my glass so you can see the image and you can see how it's looking. Then I'm going to grab a pencil and I'm going to trace my image. We're gonna grab the scissors and we're gonna cut that image. This is so easy but turns out so cute. Now, we're gonna grab that image and assemble again our frame. And here we have it, so cute. But we're gonna elevate the cuteness on this. <laughs> and I'm taking this pic that I got last year from Walmart and I'm gonna add it like this. But first, I'm gonna remove that pine cone because we're gonna need it for the center. So I'm gonna remove it and we're gonna grab those picks and we're gonna glue them to those corners by adding a little bit of hot glue and just sticking them right there. <laughs> then we're gonna grab the other one and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Stick it right there. And then we're gonna add a little bit more hot glue over there because I don't wanna cover Santa's face. Now, we're gonna grab the pine cones and I'm gonna add two more to those and I'm gonna stick one in one side and one on the other side and one, the bigger one, in the middle. And that will be it. We will have the most beautiful frame Santa. And this is how the beautiful frame Santa turned out. Look at that. He looks so, so cute. I love him. And this is how all of them turned out. Here we have the beautiful Santa. I'm so in love with him. And this sled. Oh my God, I'm so in love with this. I always wanted a sled, but we don't have snow here, so I have to DIY it. I made this swag for my door, but it's looking so cute here on the sled that guess what? It's staying. Remember to leave a comment along the crafter circle to be entered to the giveaway. And... If you like modern farmhouse bow decor and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here. So subscribe. And if you like this one, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching this type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.